Fabian Joseph gave the home crowd a wonderful win against the powerful Kenyan athletes and at the finish, guest of honour was Honourable Mizengo Peter Pinda, the Prime Minister of the United Republic of Tanzania. He was on hand to join the crowd and the officials in celebrating a landmark victory. But unfortunately there was no local winner in the women's race as Naomi Mayo put a 9 second gap between herself and Kenyan countrywoman Beatrice Ruto at the end of a fascinating contest. As the runners came in, the crowd began to get into the mood which was by now totally festive and very happy with everyone producing their own particular brand of Moshi Jive. No fewer than seven men broke 65 minutes in a brilliant race. Fabian Joseph took line honors in 64 minutes flat, with the top four men all coming from host country Tanzania. Mayo, Ruto and Kemi all broke 77 minutes in a fine contest, but Tanzania could only manage two runners in the top ten. At the prize giving, the three Tanzanian men accepted the crowd's applause graciously. What we do here at TPC as a company is, first of all, we are sugar producers. We produce about 75,000 tons of sugar a year. But we see ourselves as a company who is there to use all the resources which are available. And therefore, we also produce electricity and we supply electricity to all our needs here on the estate, including the irrigation. We also have some unused land uh, which uh, cannot be used for agriculture. So we are striving to protect it and uh, make this place a natural uh, reserve. Because of the number of employees we have in the company, we provide uh, free medical services to the employees. We provide uh, free um, nursery schools education to uh, employees, children. And also we help them with the building of classrooms. We have also projects to help water availability and also we are doing a lot for the road rehabilitation for the surrounding village. Uh, TPC, we are five of them, uh, cooperative team and we run any. Uh, firstly, what I can say, that we are very proud to work in TPC. As you know, it's a big uh, uh, sugar company all over the Tanzania. The first run of cooperative will get uh, 500,000, second will get 300,000 and third one will get 200,000. So, it's, you know, it's a huge prize and we are, we are proud of it. Back to the marathon and the lead group of six runners had now reached the Tanzanite One Refreshment Station. The pace was fast, the likely finishing time well under 2.20. Up front was one man, Stephen Chepkowit of Kenya, who by now had a healthy lead of close to a minute over the chasing pair of David Kibrono and Julius Tumako. Frida Ludepa reached the turn point at the DT Dobie water point in second in the women's marathon. At this stage, Evelyn Atancha's lead looked secure, but as she went into the downhill section after 32 kilometers, Ludepa began to catch up. An exciting finish looked likely. Lia Kujar was now third, with Helen Mukro, who had gone off course while in the lead early on, just behind her and looking somewhat dejected, understandably so. Many of the runners cooled off at the Kilimanjaro Water Road Shire. Stephen Chepkowit was racing towards a certain victory. His closest rival more than a minute behind. The crowd at the finish rose in tribute to his great performance. A wonderful win in 2 hours, 15 minutes and 28 seconds. A full 77 seconds ahead of the next man, David Kibrono, who in turn was 10 seconds clear of Julius Tamakwil. It was good. But uh, the, the, the course was tough, too tough. But the people who we were competing with them, they were serious people. They have trained a lot. As Atancha chased leader Ludipe into Moshi, the backmarkers were having fun out on the route. So, it's great. Great job. How are we doing there? Great. Right on schedule. Problem. And go. Ah, I'm walking. I'm okay, and you? 
Lord Depper was now digging deep to stay ahead of Atansha and a thrilling finish looked likely. At the end, she was just 5 seconds ahead, a tiny margin after 2 hours and 40 minutes of racing. Lia Kuja was third, with the unfortunate Helen Mukro coming home fifth. Matukeo yangu ya marathon leo ilikuwa mzuri sana sababu hata weta naye ilikuwa mzuri hata tulijaribu tulijaribu hata maji naye ilikuwa njiani sasa ilikuwa na organization nzuri sana There were still plenty of runners out there and the water point helpers were still toiling with their helpful manner and smiling faces We we have a corporate team and we have got all our five guys back at the stadium the shower in the road at the Kilimanjaro water station was also doing a roaring trade. As the day wore on, the runners slowed down. Out in the sun, the temperatures climbed, but so did the spirits of the helpers. Like most marathons, there were plenty of interesting characters at the back of the pack. Nothing cools a man down better than a cold, frosty one on the side of the road. How was your run? Brilliant, thank you. Very, very hot and hot cold feeling. What would it be? Oh, yes, go, go, yep. go. All the way. Very nice marathon. I'm uh, very surprised. I'm pleasantly surprised. No better because it's going back. <laughs> Great, thank you. Wonderful. In the emergency, I think for one, only one, and they stay the up. But on the road, you are almost five or six. It's not bad. Chebu Gwit ran superbly to win in 2 hours, 15 minutes and 28 seconds with another 7 men breaking 2.20. Outstanding on this course and again at this altitude. This was a thriller. Ludempo ran 2.40.21 to beat Atansha by just 5 seconds in the end. All in all, it was a wonderfully festive scene at the finish, one that everyone would remember for a long time. Well, what's, what's wonderful for Kilimanjaro Premium Log is obviously the association with the mountain, but also, of course, the marathon, the half marathon and the, the 5K run. One of the things is our whole campaign around Kili is taking Tanzania to greater heights. Uh, and that's what our mountain's about, that's what our brand's about, and uh, it's such a wonderful country, such fun to do this. It's, it's, we're getting there, and we have a fabulous team. It's fine, it's a wonderful trip, it's a wonderful route. We've come a long way to, to run 42 guys. <laughs> it must be crazy. I'm um, hard right before the top, but then pick up. Oh, I'm uh, so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's uh, gaining in popularity, so it's very good now. I thought, what better thing to do on a Sunday than go for a nice little run? Uh, the race is really tough. So it was an amazing experience. I really enjoyed it. So thanks a lot for the organizers organizing the event and all the sponsors and everybody that made it possible possible for us for this day. An inspirational Kilimanjaro. Wow, what a marathon. It's Kili time and it's Tanzania's time because we're going to go to greater heights. Cheers. Cheers indeed. There's no doubt that we'll all be back next year for a bigger and better Kilimanjaro Premium Lager Marathon. This broadcast of the 2010 Kilimanjaro Marathon was proudly sponsored by Kilimanjaro Premium Lager.